a market Amanda as you can see some people have already started to gather here it started about 6 30 after the news from the special prosecutor came that he would not be charging the officers in this case saying that the evidence and the interviews of those officers show that the officers feared for their life and were acting in self-defense and we're going to take you back over the last four months the decision coming just four months after Aaron Bailey was shot and killed as he drove off from that traffic stop and crashed on June 29th now in the documents today officers said they believe Bailey was reaching for a gun and never responded to commands to put his hands up. Now, on July 10th, the FBI opened a civil rights investigation into the department and the shooting to see if Aaron Bailey's civil rights were violated during the incident. And then just a little more than a month after that, on August 11th, IMPD homicide detectives completed the investigation and turned the case over to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. On August 17th, the two officers involved in the incident completed their internal affairs interviews as for the administrative review of the shooting. Now, five days later, after that, on August 27th, Second, Prosecutor Curry announced that he would be appointing a special prosecutor on the case to review the entire case. And in the past two months, St. Joseph County Prosecutor Kenneth Cotter reviewed the evidence and re-interviewed people involved and the witnesses and came to that determination today. And tonight, now than four months after Aaron Bailey was shot and killed, his family is speaking out. I feel like the um, system has failed me and my family. I um, do this, I try so hard not to cry. But as I'm looking at my family members and um, them to tell me that somebody that I'm supposed to trust is not um, going to go and get charges or anything for my dad's murder when we didn't know answers from the beginning just doesn't make any sense to me and my family. Now back here live at the city county building. What comes next in this investigation? Now the administrative review done by IMPD, their internal affairs investigation will continue. The results are expected in the next couple of weeks and the FBI will continue their civil rights investigation. We are expected to hear from IMPD tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock here at the city county building. But until then, you can see we've got people with uh, from the rally out here today. They're also ch using chalk here on the sidewalks to show um, Black Lives Matter and writing out messages here against the city. We'll have a lot more coming up tonight on the news at 11. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Call 6 Investigates. Paris LaBelle will send it back to you.